So, um, like I said, this is our first general body meeting of the year for September. Um, and first, I want to go ahead and just uh, talk about our executive board for the year. Uh, so we'll go one by one. Um, I know we're missing one picture on here, and so I apologize to Nathan for that. Um, but I'll go ahead and start just from left to right. Uh, my name is Braden Nose. For those of you who I don't know already, uh, I am currently a fourth year chemical engineering student, and I've been a member of the club for four years now, um, or this is my fourth year. Um, and I am the club president for this year. So feel free to reach out if you guys have any questions about anything. Um, but with that, I will pass things over to Alexia. All right. Hi, everyone. I am Alexia Scarvelli. I am the vice president of the Buckeye Gaming Collective. I am a third year in industrial and systems engineering, and this is also my third year in the club as well. Hello, everyone. And, yeah. Hello, everyone. I'm Cameron. Can you hear me? Yep. Okay. I'm Cameron Hendrickson. I am the director of PR and diversity this year. Uh, this is my third year at Ohio State and in the club. Um, before this, I was a community manager, and that was a community manager. Um, I'm studying communication technology. All right. Hello. My name is Will Kaiser, or MooCub, OSU MooCub, whatever you want to call me. Uh, this is my fourth year at Ohio State, fourth year involved with the club, as well as OC Premier Esports with the League of Legends team. So if any of you guys play League, maybe you recognize me. Hey guys, uh, my name is Mark Yassin. Uh, I'm the treasurer for the club, and this is my third year of involvement. I'm a senior in chemical engineering this year, and um, if you have any questions regarding anything money, feel free to reach out to me on Discord. Hey guys, I'm Anthony Petros. Uh, I am a senior uh, computer science engineering major. Uh, this is my fourth year being involved in the club and I played for the league team for the past three years. So if you have any questions about that, shoot them my way. Nathan, do you wanna go ahead and, like I said. Yeah, uh, yeah. Uh, my name is Nathan Ballet. I am the director of community management for the BGC. This is my third year being part of the club and second year on the executive board. Um, we're going to be running some events this semester, uh, either in the union or at the esports arena over in Lincoln. So if you have any questions regarding becoming a community manager, if you have a passion for a game, um, I'm the one you can talk to. Awesome. So uh, our next topic is um, basically just going to be a few different slides on uh, things that you guys can get involved with. Um, so outside of just uh, playing games and, you know, whether that be through events or uh, competitive teams or intramural leagues, um, we have a lot of different ways that you can get involved as members um, and have some really cool leadership opportunities that are great for your resume or to get to know people or, um, you know, everything in between, really. And uh, a great way to get involved early on, even for, you know, freshmen or sophomores. I know I started my freshman year um, running the League of Legends community. So um, with that being said, our current uh, voting member status is basically anyone um, who attends at least half of these general body meetings. So typically that'll be um, one a month, sometimes with, uh, you know, holidays like Christmas break, spring break, things like that. Um, you know, we might miss one or two in there, but generally aim for seven or eight of those throughout the year. And then we also uh, want people to be some sort of an active member in the uh, club as well. So that could be minor board, being on one of our teams, um, obviously being on the e-board, um, or just being a committee member, which we'll get into more of the differences between some of those positions. Um, and then the last one is a fun, uh, being a part of a fundraising event for the club. This hopefully will something uh, be something that uh, is actually used this year. Uh, in the past, this requirement has been waived for people. Um, and so depending on what kind of fundraising we are able to do this year, um, that may or may not stay as a requirement. But basically, if we have opportunities, try and take advantage of them. If you can't make it or anything like that, don't sweat it if you, um, you, know, if you cover the other two requirements. Um, so the main takeaway here, like this says, is just to, basically have a have a say in what the club does and 
where the club is headed um, and be able to play an easy, active role um, in helping us reach our goals. So next up, as promised, is our staff positions and some of the differences between these three groups. So for our minor board members, uh, these are people who um, are going to be on the Discord and working on uh, club things throughout the day um, or on a daily basis. Now that is a lenient definition of a daily basis. Some days it might be, you know, running an event for a full day, but other times, you know, you might not have anything to do for a week or two at a time. Um, I wouldn't stress too much about the the time commitment there. Um, we really just want to basically be able to uh, work together with anyone on our minor board to let you guys um, be involved, as involved as you want to be, but not overworking anyone um, for something that they're volunteering to do and, you know, doing in their free time. So um, basically minor board positions are going to be running or helping uh, with things like our intramural leagues, uh, things like broadcasting, graphics, um, really everything in between. Um, anything that you might have a passion for, any specific areas, there's probably a spot for it. So um, as part of our attendance uh, form, you'll see a spot to to put down some stuff about minor board. Feel free to reach out to any of us and put in there um, with anything you might be interested in. Our Discord moderators, um, this is something that we have gotten away from a little bit. Um, we don't, uh, we don't have a lot of moderators active at any given time. Um, honestly, it's um, something that you know we we'd love to have, but most of the time, I think uh, anyone who wants to do something like that, typically minor board positions end up fitting better because we just don't necessarily need dedicated people constantly watching um, our chats. So, um, if it is something you're interested in, we're we're always happy to have anyone that's uh, wanting to do that. And then our committees is a great entry level way to get involved. So, these committees will basically work hand in hand. Um, with the minor board and the e-board members um, in our different departments and basically just help out as as needed um, in little ways to work on planning events and stuff without as much of a commitment um, time-wise. And really, um, we've gotten to a point where a lot of times committee members and minor board members aren't too far apart. And so um, while they are different titles that are distinguished here, Really, it's it's a matter of how much time you are willing to put into it. And like uh, I mentioned here, our applications are pretty much on a rolling basis. So we're always looking for people to help out with anything, basically. Um, you know, we can never have too many people working on um, working on all the awesome stuff that we put on. And so if you have any uh, questions or any interest in anything, please just reach out. And, you know, if if we can't help you, we'll point you to someone that can. And then Nathan, if you want to uh, take the lead on this, talking about Buckeye Leagues. Yeah, so Buckeye Leagues is our intramural, uh, essentially sports league for three different titles, Valorant, League of Legends, and Rocket League. Um, you can register either individually or find some friends that you know who also play the game and register with them. Uh, Valorant teams are made up of five primary roster players and then two substitutes same goes for league of legends and then rocket league is a three-man roster so you're playing threes there and um so you'll play in this intramural league once a week you'll play one match on uh buckeye val is tuesdays buckeye rl is wednesdays league is on sundays those are all at 8 p.m um and if you are interested Matches will run from October 3rd, so that's the first Tuesday where Buckeye Val will start, and then the day after is Buckeye RL, and then as this so as goes on, you'll play it the same day every week. Um, and like I said, you can register individually. We'll get some information about you, how you play the game, what rank you are, what you want to get out of playing Buckeye Leagues, and then we'll put you on a team of other like-minded individuals um, who want to play whatever esport that is and kind of compete. So there's two phases to our Buckeye League intramurals. There's the regular season, which is a round robin. Well, not round robin. It's Swiss style bracket. And then uh, you'll play five weeks of that. And then there'll be three weeks of uh, like playoffs. So you'll go from the semifinals 
uh, sorry, quarterfinals, semifinals, and then finals. And then the winner of the leagues will receive some kind of prizing. We have not determined what that is yet. Uh, we'll talk as an e-board and figure that out. But if you are interested, um, registration was going to open this Saturday, but I have it figured out, and it is open as of the start of this meeting. So we are ready to go with that. I'll post the link shortly in the chat. Awesome. And then next up is some more information on some of our competitive teams. Um, like I mentioned earlier, these are kind of a fluid fluid situation. And so um, if you don't see a game on here that you're interested in, um, you know, reach out. And as long as there's interest, we're happy to house um, really any games that have enough interest to uh, be able to put it on. But from there, I'll let uh, Will take it from here. Yeah, so as far as the teams that we're offering, so far, we're waiting on League of Legends uh, Premier Tryouts to finish determining who's going to be the team manager, but there is going to be a League of Legends BGC team. Uh, we'll send more details as soon as we have that figured out. Make sure you have the League of Legends role if you don't already. Uh, for CSGO, we're currently looking to fill out a roster for the Grey team. So if you're at all interested in that, then go into the CSGO channel and you can ask about it there. If you're interested in Smash Ultimate, then you can contact Nathan on our eboard for more information. For Rocket League, Premier Tryouts are over. Uh, I know there were some people who didn't make it. If any of you are here and would be interested, we're happy to make a club BGC team to also do Rocket League. And with Overwatch 2, we're going to have bi-weekly starting Thursday at 8 o'clock. Uh, they're still finalizing a tryout date for the team itself, but you can reach out to Ector Screen on Discord with questions. Awesome. And with that, uh, just want to real quickly go over some events we have this month. Um, so nothing too exciting um, as far as social events um, during the month of September, just as everyone gets back into the swing of things and we start getting stuff planned. But like Nathan mentioned, um, those Buckeye League signups are actually currently open. And so you'll see signups uh, go out for those in their respective channels uh, probably sometime tonight. So if you are interested in those, uh, please feel free to get the Discord roles for each of those, um, and uh, you'll be able to see all the announcements and information go out about those there. Um, the one thing I do want to point out is on September 29th, we are going to be doing a community night uh, at the Game Arena on High Street. Um, so quick distinguish uh, or distinguishment, I guess, for Game Arena versus the Esports Arena. So OSU is lucky enough to have two really awesome resources besides us as a club uh, where you can physically go and do awesome things related to gaming, including playing, meeting people, things like that. So we have our eSports Arena, which is on campus in Lincoln Tower. Um, and then Game Arena is uh, not run by OSU, but it is just a small business that um, operates uh, on High Street, kind of over near Barnes & Nobles, uh, for those of you familiar with that area. Um, so I'll I'll put up a poster and also send it out um, after this meeting um, with some more info on that night. Um, but the last thing on here that I wanted to point out is just our next general body meeting, which is slated for October 2nd, uh, which should be the first Monday of October. And then also, I know Will mentioned the Overwatch 2 biweekly starting up this week. Um, and as we have some more info on dates for biweeklies um, for some of our other titles, those will go out as well. And you'll see announcements about that. Um, so like I mentioned, this is just a, a quick flyer, and this will get posted in our announcements channel, so you don't have to read everything right now. Um, but we are going to be hosting a community night in conjunction with Game Arena, um, September 29th. So that's a Friday night, and it'll run from 7 to midnight. Um, we're going to be doing some pretty awesome giveaways that they've been kind enough to sponsor, um, and also free game time and a great selection of food, drinks, anything like that. Um, they have a you know a bar for those of you who are able to. Um, drink, and then a uh, pretty nice concession stand, things like that. Um, and it'll be a really great social event for people to get to meet each other, especially within the club. Um, I know a bunch of us will plan to be there. And so it'll just be a fun night to get to play some games with new people, uh, meet some people, and honestly win some pretty awesome gear. And so uh, one other thing I wanted to mention is, like I said, between the Game Arena and Esports Arena, our plan is to hopefully host um, alternating events with those two. And so do be on the lookout and be 
cognizant of uh, when we do stuff with the esports arena, hopefully in the near future, um, that that distinction, and it'll be made clear in any announcements with either of them, but the university one versus the non-university one. So just wanted to get that out of the way and feel free to reach out with any questions. But with that being said, uh, the last thing I have for you guys is just the attendance form. Um, so if you wanna go ahead and scan this QR code, um, it'll just ask you a few questions, mostly just um, with personal information uh, so that we can keep track of who attended. Um, and then also any questions or comments you guys might have. And if you're interested in any of our minor board positions, um, with that being said, feel free to reach out with any questions about anything um, to any of us on the eboard. We'd be happy to point you out guys in the right direction and just be on the lookout for um, trying to keep the announcements channel unmuted. I know there's a lot of channels, and so I like to keep um, the server as a whole muted, but then unmute individual channels so that it's really easy to not just mute the whole thing and never check it, but instead have... Um, you know, the notifications come through for important stuff like our announcements, because that's where um, anything that we have going on will come through.